We can't even trust our senses. So how do we build more secure systems? How do we overcome this? Well, step one is to care. We actually have to care about security. We have to care that security is every bit as important and necessary as any other metric or illity we're going to talk about. Deployability, scalability, etc. In fact, just out of curiosity, how many people already have security as a core part of their job? Like this is something that you have to think about pretty much every day. Just show hands. Okay, we've got some hands going up. That's a trick question! Literally everybody's job. We are all responsible. We have to understand that, we have to un- and we have to care. Step two is we have to stop misdirecting ourselves. What do I mean by that? If we're focusing too much here, we're missing everything over there. The, the, the flaw can be inches away from our eyes, but if we're so focused here, we're going to miss it. Let me give you an example. This code totally works. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, I'm sure everybody in this room knows what's wrong with this. There's a big flaw, because not only does it do exactly what it's supposed to do, it does a lot of things that it's not supposed to do. And that's pretty serious. What happens is we get so focused on the architecture or the functional requirements that we don't think about the security requirements. And we have to make a conscious decision to do that, to think about the security requirements, to define them. In other words, we need to define both the use cases and the abuse cases. Step three is to keep learning. I respect and admire every single person in this room and at every single conference that I speak at because you're taking time out of your schedule, you're traveling to learn, to push yourself, to grow And this is an important thing. But beyond the sessions this week, there's so many resources. OWASP.org is a fabulous resource, and I hope everybody here has heard of that. Red team exercises are phenomenal. You put on the black hat, you actively try to penetrate your system. Try to think about things from a perspective that you never typically think of them as. And one more recommendation is to balance usability and security. Right? This is something that's been pounded into our heads over and over these years. User experience, user usability, better UX, cleaner UI. A good user experience, if the user does something wrong, you tell them, and then you tell them, you tell them exactly what they did wrong, and you tell them exactly how to fix it. They type in the wrong password. Maybe the most useful thing you can tell them is, That's the wrong password. The problem is, to an attacker, you are implicitly saying, that's the correct username. And if you want to see how that can be exploited, look at PayPal. This feature is long gone, but years ago, PayPal introduced a feature. Great feature from a user perspective. Type in an email address, it does a lookup and says, oh, michael at mago.co, that's Michael Carducci you're sending money to. That's great! As a user, I want to know that I'm actually sending money to the intended recipient and not fat-fingering an email address to send my hard-earned dollars off into the digital ether, never to be seen again. Take a data dump of email addresses and that API, and you can create a very sophisticated spear phishing attack that will even fool some savvy customers. Maybe the most valuable thing that you can reveal is nothing. 